Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here, and we got a game of Subpens Team Deathmatch on World of War. Wow, old game here. World of War with the PPSH round drum. That's the gun I'm using right here. Good old PPSH with its unlimited ammo, basically, with the round drum on it. But yeah, I wanted to talk about actually something, and that was the new free to play game formula. So, it's being implemented in a lot more games recently. And I was thinking just today about how maybe Call of Duty should even implement this. It's starting to get a lot more prominent in games, like Tribes of Sand just came out the other day um, with its free-to-play aspect, and I find it works out pretty good. Uh, it's a free game, right? So you're getting a game for free, which would usually be $60 for everything, let's say. So you'd usually play, pay $60 to buy the game, and then from there you'd have to work your way to unlock things. But with this formula, you buy nothing, like the game's free, right? And then you, if you want to, you can make purchases within the game to speed up your unlocking of the things. So really, it's a good formula, I'm thinking. And it really brings more people in to play if, it's, if the game's actually free to start out with. So Tribe Ascend has been doing this, and I actually just got a beta invite for the game Super Monday Night Combat just yesterday. So Super Monday Night Combat is also doing this. Uh, it's a free to play game. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually get a beta invite any other way, but I'm thinking maybe you can if you go look on their website. I, I think I've seen something that says something about that. So. If you really want to bait invite for that game, it's an awesome game by the way, go check it out if you don't know what it is. Um, actually, I'll be posting some gameplay of it in the next couple days, so stick around for that and you'll see what it is. But, it's an awesome game, so you can probably find a way to get a beta invite, but I got mine through buying the first Monday Night Combat a while ago, so they, they sent me a code to play the next game. But anyways, that game is also based on microtransactions, it's a free game, free to play game that is, and they really, they really like, emphasize this, it's a good way, you start out with like, five different classes, six different classes, something like that, I don't know, but you start off with a couple of different classes, and you can either play the game and get some money to unlock the new classes, or you can just buy the class straight up for either two bucks or I think some characters are seven bucks. I don't know. They they might need to get their pricing adjusted because it seems like a bit of a steep climb from two to seven bucks. But that's going on there. So um, there's other things you can buy within the game as well. It's not just characters. You can also buy different skills, guns, character camo stuff, things like that. Outfits, I guess, would be called not camos, but. I think that if Call of Duty implemented this, they'd make way more money than they already are with, like, like if they had free-to-play and elite, man, they'd be just raking in the money. I don't know, I don't even know why they wouldn't uh, implement this formula, because, you know, there are a lot of hardcore people out there that play COD, and I think they'd just jump right at it, just like that to pay a bit more money and have things unlocked like really fast so I think like things like just guns you'd unlock at a later level if you paid maybe a two two dollars or a dollar or something like that within the game then they'd be making so much money and people would just buy it right up so I'm not really sure why they wouldn't implement this like I'm not saying it's the greatest thing for the gamer but Knowing it, Activision, I'm really surprised that they don't do this because they are very money hungry and yeah, but the thing is they might try and make game balance a bit more prominent in the game if you can actually buy things at a lower or at any level. You can just buy them whenever. They might want to balance the guns out a bit more, stuff like that if that's happening. Otherwise, everybody would just buy this one gun. Not saying it doesn't happen right now, but... It, it's a bit different because people can just buy it and have it forever I guess it would be that, that would I guess be the formula of it maybe you could buy camos as well for like 50 cents something like that they could just be making a killing off of it and I'm not really sure why they don't 
like I said, but games like Monday Night Combat, or Super Monday Night Combat, I should say, and Tribes of Send, it works really well with them. So, I'm thinking that's the direction of the next generation of games, actually. So, if you see a lot of free to play games in the future, especially on PC, don't be surprised, because uh, that could be the new formula for games. It'll maybe, maybe it'll even be like swipe credit card to play or something. I don't know. So crazy things like that might start happening. That would actually kind of suck, but who knows? And that's the end of the game. Host quits, so it sucks for that. I was I was like 27 and two, but whatever. So hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.